How are we doing? Uh, welcome to another 239 Flies uh, DIY installment. We have a very special guest today, Mr. Enrico Puglisi. Thank you pleasure. for joining us today, sir. Thank you for having me over here, of course. It's, uh, it's our pleasure. Um, thank you for showing us how to tie this fly that uh, you're going to show us how to tie. What is it that uh, we're going to be doing today? <laughs> well, what are we going to do today? Uh, I should call this fly like F and F. Okay which is F done with fibers and the other F done with brush. What it will do is it will speed them up the process of the peanut butter. Okay. With the same result pretty much. Okay. Okay. So this way, uh, this is done for those people that they have a very little time to spend on the device and they want to spend them more time. Yeah, or they're just getting fish. into it and they quite, well, can't quite put together exactly, all the little fibers yet. Exactly, exactly. Until they get learned how to do the entire fly. So ease them up the whole process. So um, we're going to get started. The, I like it. This thing over here. Let's do it. Take me by the hand, sir. All right, here we go. All right, so we're starting out with a Gamagatsu SL12S short. Yeah, uh, in this case, this is the hook we're going to use. It. It's a really good hook. Came out last year, I believe it. Um, it's pretty much similar to the uh, longer shank vision, the 12. Uh, it's, and it's meaty. It's pretty, yeah, it's very it's meaty. meaty. And for what I needed, you know, especially for tarpon, is a good hook. Okay. Uh, I'm using a 3 yard. Uh, when it comes to tarpon, a good size, I like to use a bigger hook. Okay. A lot of people like the small one, which is on the 1 yard category, 1. But again, this is a matter of a preference. I like to use a paper clip, something real small. Yeah, well, <laughs> uh, we're going to use uh, a uh, clear monofilament to tie this fly so that we don't have to change any threads or color-wise. And we will start right almost at the bend of the hook. Okay. I'm going to grab a That's little low. Uh, Violet sparkle for the tail. As you can see, I go around the threads. So I will oh, do the application fancy. in one shot over here. That was fancy. Let's see if I can figure out how to do that. Yeah, it's not fancy. <laughs> it's just practical, you're not fancy. I got you. All right. All Let's right. So there we go. Looks Close good. Enough. Close enough. All right. So now we're going to start to pick up the fibers. I'm going to grab the block, of course. Um, a lot of people always ask me what's the amount of a fiber I should use it to tie a fly. Uh, there is another right answer. So the answer is depends on f what <laughs> flies you want to tie mm -hmm. for the purpose. Fibers is a, well, you know, don't absorb water. The more fibers you put it, the more air it will trap. Mm -hmm. So automatically, it's not going to go down that fast. We, I'm going to put a little bit extra. Um, and here it is. I'm going to do two little bunches just in case. I'm going to need a little bit more. In case the first one gets messed up. Yeah, of course. You know. <laughs> All right. Condense this down. It should be about a, it looks like a little less than a toothpick. And the other way that you can kind of manage is just yeah. see that. Compress it down. Compress take a it look down at and it. take a look at it and say, okay, this is what I want. And that's pretty much the way it's going to go. I'm still trying to figure out what I want. It's been about 33 years now. <laughs> You'll get there. I'm eventually. getting there. Okay, this is <laughs> yours. We're going to put this color on the side for now so that we have a little yeah, bit about extra like room. That, about like that. There. All right, there you a little go. extra room. They can have that back. There you go. So now um, uh, we wanted this fly. I wanted this fly in there over three and a half inch long. So, and it's very simple. What I will do over here, I will double the fibers, and then I'm going to go over here. I'm going to cut it. I will say um, one to two. So I have this length over here that I save it a little piece just in case are we going to need it. So cut like this off just like about, yeah. like, about like that. Yeah. All right. You know, we, can we, all, we always can. Uh, We're not building rockets here. No. No. Thank God. 
You didn't get your rocket science degree yet? No, 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 no. I'm working on it still. All right. one, of these, one of these days I'm yeah. going to get it. It's been my life yeah, goal to get my <laughs> degree in rocket science. All right, here we go. So obviously this is more than three and a half inches, but we go long and then we're going to trim it to the length that we want. Because we might change our mind. And say, sometimes, oh, I wish the fly was a little bit longer. So that's why we put a little bit extra uh land on fiber so that we can do whatever we want when we're dealing with the scissors so there we go we go right on top right on top yep i always bring scissors with me on the boat too whenever somebody hands me one of their flies i always like to take a pair of scissors too and like no 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 you tied that wrong <laughs> No, no, let me take some. <laughs> let me take some fibers off of that. Yeah, let me take something. Hold on. That. Yeah, they I, love that. I like it. That's they good. love that. That's cool. <laughs> so at this point, we're gonna reverse the fiber that we had on the front. Just bend it back on itself. Yeah, just like that, as you can see it. So we have the top colors, which is black. Uh, we're gonna go with the bottom color, which will be the purple. Let me see. I like this Take one. Take handy dandy oh, finger brush and yeah. pull that out. Look at yeah, that. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. See that? You're I've, read that. I've read this book before. Yeah, you you are a little bit. Not exactly this chapter, but I, I've, you I've been are a little this bit, book a little you bit. You are a little bit fancier than I am. Look at that. You comb your hair in the morning, right? right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Temper it down a little bit. Just like it. And you combine these two these two together. No. No, you didn't. I do not. Oh, shoot. See? I messed that up the first time. Oops. Just, that, that's, why, that's why the camera's on you, not on me. Uh-huh. Let me see the length of that. It's too short. Too short. Use the other one. I'm using the other one. Yes. I'm calling it audible. There you go. You will cut that the same length that we did it with the block, so one, two, three. So, you so have about, a, about like that? Yeah, but only one side you're going to cut it. Not, uh, ah, no, 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 no. Oh. Uh, 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 yeah. Look. Oh. Learn me something here. See that? Okay, That's okay, so about that much. I should do it. All right, so now you're going to just get your vise and put it on sideways so that you can work, work on the side. Of the, the, I like to start on the left side of the, of the hook, if you know what I mean. This will be the left, this will be the right. Okay. You know, I'm comfortable this way, but you can do start on any side you really want it, you know. <laughs> I usually spin it over. Just yeah, I usually spin the hook over. If and you do, do it on that, that side that's just fine too. That's no problem whatsoever. So there we go. We're going down like that. Uh, I have the other one. I'll reverse on the other side. Spin it back on there itself, kind of like that. All right. All okay. right. So. Now, you know one, made these things? These things are really handy. <laughs> I, don't know, yeah. I don't know who thought of that, but uh, those guys are all right. So one thing you really want to pay attention is to make sure that the color on the bottom, it will be, belongs right on the bottom and the top on the, on the, on the top. Gotcha. So here we go. I haven't used my brush yet, but I will in a minute. So looks good. We're going to go with a little bit of red. When it comes to the black and purple, I don't know what it is, but this red, Sparkle is like a magic, it's a must. You have to put this red sparkle on it. Again, I don't know what it is, I cannot explain, but it works for me. But it looks good. And it looks good, I'm very confident, and everybody's happy. And you just tied that right on there top and then exactly. stretched it back. Pretty there close. you go. Pretty close, not bad. So at this point, before I glue, I will make sure I position the fiber exactly where I want it, right? Top, bottom. And I want to make sure that the first step is, is not tied at the bend of the hook. OK. Right? You got to be straight, parallel to the hook shank. That's, That's the, priority numero uno right there. A, this is a key, just that. Now we're going to go ahead and put a drop of glue. Did you see that right there, the Velcro on the, that's, that. Hey, where is this? It's right there, Velcro to my base. Hey, well, 
That's you know, it's a way to, <laughs> you know, not to mess up, uh, you know, your, your table. That's a good, that's and a good. And many people are lucky because we, we might have our own table, but those people, they have to use uh, the wife level yeah, uh -huh. or their girlfriend, then you're in trouble when you put glue all over the place. You know I, what I mean? I hear you. There you are. <laughs> I hear you. Thank you very much. <laughs> so now I'm going to go with my brush. Now we'll brush everything together. Just put this right back where it goes. There you that's go. obviously where it goes. Well, <laughs> makes sense, right? <laughs> yeah. So I got my tail over here, as you can see. You okay. got yours. Everything looks good. World's still turning. Now let's go to the second one. I'm going to grab it. The block is just cut in gotcha. half. All right. We need to do two steps with the fibers, and then we finish the flies with the brush. Pretty sure that was, well, the peanut, sure that the, was a thing. You know, the peanut butter, the way I, the way I originated, the way it was tied till this day is, is a four-step process. Okay. So eliminating the, the last two with the brush, that makes two step on the back. So we're there. And there we go. And you're just tying this right on top like and we did top, the last you, re, you repeated the same. We're doing it again. Exactly. We're getting the band back together. There we go. Turn it over. Flip it over. Okay, we're gonna go with the purple. Taper it out again. I think I, I think mine's actually about the right size for this. Is I'm it? gonna do a little trimming, I think, but uh, that's okay. Don't worry about it. At the end, we're gonna do the trimming, and everybody will be happy. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Party starting to form outside. Love it. We throw a good party here. Oh yeah. I don't know if uh, I'm not sure what kind of parties you're used to, yeah, but listen, we, we throw and, a pretty good party around and this thank joint. You, thank you for this little guy. I'm Absolutely. Gonna, I'm, I'm gonna pop this guy after we finish that's this. That's from one. that's from the Dominican Republic. That's totally legal. <laughs> well, totally not any uh, trade embargoes going on around this joint. Well, the DI they're making pretty good cigars. Believe in me. All right, so this, so this I got, goes right on top of there. I'm going to try to... I got mine. You'll get into really, yours. Really, I'm just sitting here trying to think to myself, just don't snap the monofilament thread. Just don't snap well, the Well, look, <laughs> it will happen, you know, and if it's going to happen, you know, don't panic. It, you can catch up again. I just try not to break my thread in front yeah. of Enrico Puglisi, you know what well, I'm saying, what, Bruce? What do, you think? what do you think? I don't snap my thread? Are you kidding me? <laughs> All right, uh, so I got the two-step on there. A little more of the red. Yes, please. Just a tiny bit more. Yeah, this red looks really good with these with these colors. All right. So far, so good. Look, this is starting to come together a little bit here. I'm getting excited about this. All right. Another drop, right there. Another little drop of uh, zap. There we go. Oh. There we go. Put that back where it goes. Where it belongs. Obviously where it, a place where, 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 it where it belongs to. I can touch my fingers together here and glue yeah, them together. Yeah, there is a little. There is a little. Oh, that's good thinking go. right there. There you go. All right. Because I want to show you something. All right. Okay. A lot of people then. Usually they're making a mess, pull them out of the fibers out of the package. Okay. So what you're going to do is, you see where the wire is? Uh-huh. Just put on the side for now. Get your scissor. And you've got a nice little triangle. See that? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And now, guess what? There you have your wire. And pick up the first one on top, right here. There is your brush. Check that out. And no mess allowed. Check that out. That? All right, that's a pro yeah. tip right there. <laughs> I hope we got that on video. There you go. Done deal. Oh, this is for you. All right, thank Actually, you. you know what? Hold on. Yeah, now I, gotta, now I got to get my own. You show <laughs> me, the, you show you me get, the tip. Now I got to do you it. You get your own. I got to get in here with my fidgety fingers and get my own now. Uh, let's see here. I think I got it. 
Gosh, I couldn't even screw how's, it up. I tried that? to screw it up and I couldn't. We know, don't use your scissors. Don't use your scissors. You got your especially, little plier over there. Especially your good ones. Cool. No, you don't want to do that. So we're going to lash this right on the side, as you can see it. And what we should do is create like a, a base with the clear monofilament on top of the hook shank. So that when we wind the, wind the, the, brush, the, the over. brush over, it will help and not just rotating or spinning over the bare hook. So now, I, now I've got a question to ask since we hinted on it earlier. How many times a day do you do that right there and break okay, the thread? Okay, so you know, in this case, <laughs> what are you doing? Look at me, look at me. Just mm -hmm. let it go. Let it go. Nothing's going to happen over there. Take your time to fix your bobbin. Good. Okay, now don't even touch that. Now you're doing this. So look, I'm going to break it myself. See that? Look all that mess over here. Mm -hmm. Look at what I'm doing now. You go over here very lightly. I go over, and look what happened. Catch up the other one. Pull them together and press them together. Okay. All right. There you go. That's it. Easy does it. Don't panic. Nah, there's no reason Don't to. Don't panic. No reason to panic. Okay. Now, you can leave your bobbin over here, or you can do a couple of you know, finish knots and then cut up leather. Okay. What do you What do you want to do? It. You show me. I was hoping to learn something today. <laughs> you know what? Let's not bother. Let's leave the bobbin over here. Okay. Okay. Now it's just give it one little tab over here again. All right. Just to make sure everything is in place. There you go. Thanks, sir. That should work. Now, what do we have to consider over here when we're wrapping this brush? Okay, here we go again. Do we want this fly to kind of suspend it for those layup fish? Or do we want this to go, you know, nice and fast, sinking? So, again, the amount of wrapping you will do into the hook shank, it will determine how much material. That's, it's a logic. Okay. It's a logic, you know? Yeah. What I mean? So, more whatever brush. you want for the flies, you're wrapping. Okay. More, more brush, more flow. More or less. So you go ahead and do your thing. I'll do mine. All right. How's that? I like it. I'm kind of a, kind of a stickler when it comes to when it comes to wrapping. I like my my uh, Pat. What do you call these things? Hackle pliers. I knew they were there. In some place, huh? <laughs> well, I think uh, I, I usually wrap flies. Not for how they fish, but how they photograph, and it's kind of a terrible habit of mine. Well, I feel like some of us, uh, some of us at this table, have uh, sometimes the same, the same feeling. <laughs> we got to go fishing with this fly, you know what I mean? Okay. We cannot just, you know, make it looking nice or looking good for. Usually, I'll leave these on the table, and Rico comes and uh, slaps them off my plate. Yeah. <laughs> We got a, we call uh, Pat's uncle, Uncle Rico. Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. You know the guy, Nick Sergio. Uh, yeah, he's coming around sometimes. He's coming today. Oh, he's coming down. Yep. Uh, Nicola, I call him Nicola. <laughs> yes. I call him Nicola. Nah, Nick. What Nick? <laughs> All right. I'm done over here, boy. All right, I'm wrapped up and tied up over here. I managed to not cut my thread. That's good. Now, I want to show you something else. Show me something else. How's that? I would love to see something else. All right. You see this, this is a brush, and we have a stainless steel wire over here, correct? Mm -hmm. uh, many people, what it will do is it's going to go over here and cut it, this wire flush to the hook. Yep. You do the same? I just, I literally just did that with my flush cutters. Oh, you did that. Right? I did. So what's going to That's what I get for going ahead. Yeah, what's going to happen is every time you make an erupt, you're going to cut the threads over the little points sticking out of the... Mm -hmm. You're right. That, that happens. Right? It happens many times. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut it, yes, but you're leaving. Put your finger over here now. Feel it. Uh-huh. Now you push it. Okay. Towards push the it back. back, correct? 
and with your threads, you start right behind the hook, eye. Uh huh. And there you have it. And rip it down. So what's going to happen over here? The threads, it will. You're putting the threads on top, and then you're putting the. And it will never, it will never cut it, it because we eliminated the, the standing still point. So, the threads it doesn't get cut. And then we're we'll finishing um, after that. Yeah, we're finishing, and then we're done, pretty much. Looking at whip finish with his fingers. There you go. Like. All right. So now I'm gonna brush. See, it's kind of bulky right now, and of course we're gonna we're gonna do some magic over here. We're gonna trim this thing. I mean, don't get me wrong. You can fish the flies as you as it is. If you really want to fish it with the bulky flies, we, there is a many situation where you might need a bulky flies like that. Sure. And then it'll be okay. You put a couple of eyes and then you're in business. But yeah. we want to we want to fix this guy I want it to look here. pretty. Yeah, we're going to give it a different uh, uh, look. All right. So when you comb these out, you're, you're combing them out so that they... Well, the, the, the way I like to comb it, first of all, is to open them up, all the fibers, so that it will give them an indication where to trim uh, the fly, because if it, if everything is you know lapping uh, together, you will miss spots and you will not see where it's actually needed to trim it. Okay. Um, at this point, you know the importance of long blades, uh, scissors. I I do now. Yes. And there we go. I'm gonna take it easy. As you can see, you have a real good grip. You and, can, and, it's and like leather. salt, and you can always add, but you can never take away. No, no. And then you, you do you do your magic. Oh. That's pretty much it. And take your time, no rush. I, was, I feel like I'm in elementary school going like, uh, what are you doing on your test? All right, well, I'll wait for you. I was I'm going to watch the video after we're done and learn how to tie this fly. <laughs> yeah. What I'm going to do. That's exactly what I'm going to end up doing. I'm just going to wait till the video is done and I'll go back and watch it. How's it going? Okay. I'm getting there. I'm getting closer. This is usually the step yeah. of the fly that takes about six hours for me. Uh, and then I'll do more of it in the boat when I get there. Uh, you can do that nice or without any problem. Here we go. Look at this. Yeah. See, I'm That's done. That's pretty handy right there. That's pretty handy I right there. I think I'm done. I'm not going to take more fibers away. I like a nice and chubby. I'll take that right there. There you go. I'm going to take just a little bit off the bottom here. Now it's time to put the eyes. Uh, when it comes to, uh, the, uh, to eyes, there is uh, a lot going on out there. Everybody has a different idea. I respect the idea. I don't. They're all wrong. Put eyes on them. No, 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 <laughs> no. No, don't no. do that. You know, uh, I'm going to show you the way I put the eyes on, on the flies. Okay. On the, especially on the flies that involve the fibers. And then you do whatever. It's a very you want. controversial subject. Okay, I like it is, it. and, and yeah. that, I leave it very open. Gotcha. But you see, the the problem is that people are intimidated, and they should not be intimidated. Generally talking, people get intimidated when there is a to do an extra step or a little bit extra work. Okay. And I mean, I don't do that. It's too difficult. So they give up very easy. They don't do that because you can do it. If I can. You can do it. I like to tell them to glue their fingers together right off the start so it's all uphill from there. But there you go. Yeah. <laughs> you can't, you can't, you're at, you're at ground zero. So, the idea over here Trap is, <laughs> the idea is basically to glue these eyes directly into the hook shack. Okay. That's very important. And the only eyes that I've been using from day one, and if it works for you, if for you, you have no reason to change it. Is that correct? I, that's my, uh, my philosophy, is if it's not broke, don't fix it, because it works for me. So we have uh, this plastic eyes with the stem on the back. I'm going to leave it a little bit of a stem right on the back, just such as. Oh, okay. Okay, we're going to glue those eyes into the hook shank. So the only way we can do is uh, using this little gizmo, make the socket, 
And uh, this is another step that people are very scared because this thing can burn yeah. plenty. There is a very simple way to do it. You just follow the hook eye and, and you feel it. You can feel it, the hook mm -hmm. shine. So once you get over here, usually I aim to the end of the point of the hook. This is my distance of where I'm going to put the eyes here to the to the hook. Okay. So this is my measurement. Whatever the the point of the hook end, right here, this is the distance I have it. Gotcha. Very and that's simple. why they all look good. Well, they all look the same because yeah. I have a, you know I, I refer myself to a specific yep. point. So now one with a bit more and one with a bit less or top and bottom. Here we go. Again, you feel it. A lot of people, what it will do is this. I'm going to grab this because I don't want to miss that I was, one. I, I want to I I I go fishing. You know? Yeah, this is for all the marbles right so here. So there we go. What a lot of people do, they put this over here. And see what happened? You're burning a lot. Yeah. Okay, because you're just aiming there. But if you're, going, if you're doing this, you're going over here. See? Touch and back away. There you go. Touch and back away. See, you make it a little socket, yeah. and you're in business. Here we go. I know it's right here. I already touched the hook shim. Okay. So I'm going to go on the other side. I know where the point is. It's right here, right here. Touch and back away. Right yeah, don't be aggressive. Here we go. Piece of cake. Okay. Yeah. There, there you go. go. I was there gonna say, go. turn there the fly go. around and hold there those fibers go. on your fingers. No one's completely useless, Enrico. We can always serve as a bad example. Ah, it's okay. <laughs> Listen, you know, we have to do the best that we can to avoid those bad samples. I think I got it. I think I got it. Looks good. In and out, in and out. Then you'll be good. There we go. Hey. See that? Hope All you got that right. on camera. At this point, it's very simple. I'm going to get the glue. Where is my glue? It's right here. This is the glue I always have been using to attach the eyes, which is a goop. There we go again. Also, Great for gluing your fingers together, I'm Absolutely. sure. Absolutely. Your little socket is, when you go in, you make sure the glue touches. And you can feel it, the hook shank. And don't be afraid to put extra glue. And if you see some glue coming out of those eyes, once you put the eyes on it, don't worry about it. The fish won't care. You'd rather see the little extra glue coming out of the eyes and not to. See that? Yep. And when you press down the eyes, you can feel it. Yeah, you feel that, that little hook stem, The little stem is going to sit right on into the hook. Yeah, a little positive reinforcement Absolutely. that you did this right. We put the glue on it, and we're going to put the other eyes. The eye on the other side is going to shift. So the best thing you can do is is this, you put the hook, the fly in at this point, back into the vise. Fly back in the vise. Turn your fly just like that. Easy. Hold the fibers with your finger yeah. like that. And while you're holding, you just spread the, the glue around. There you go. That should work just like that. I'm gonna do mine. The side that's facing me looks better. Pack it this side. <laughs> there you go. Done. Not too shabby. Take a look at those eyes. Make sure they are even. Looking at the front and on top. Just like that. I'll trade you. <laughs> Be my guest. Don't have to tell me twice. I'll trade ah. you a cigar for it. Ah. Enrico, thank you very much. Pleasure on mine. It was, it was a good tie over here. I liked it. That did was you like good, it? I did. That was, uh, right. that was cool. So that is planned, what, you know, the E, P, F, and A, F. Yeah. F fibers and F the, uh, the brush. 
Awesome.